Now, the first game is called Authors, and uh, regular viewers of this programme, if there are such things, will know that the participants come along with a famous author's style in mind, ready to tell a story in that style. So, if I can ask you all to come forward, ready to uh, tell our story for us, right down on the performing area. Now, Graham, wh which author's style have you elected to go for? Uh, I'll have a shot at J.B. Priestley. J.B. Priestley? Well, why not? And uh, Jan? Pam Ayres. Pam Ayres, right, the, the poet laureate. And George... <laughs> But I've one. chosen Dr. Roger, the thesaurus guy. Oh, right. <laughs> now, you're, uh, you're making it easy for yourself, then, are you? Okay. And John. D.H. Lawrence. D.H. Lawrence. Yeah. Right, now, to make it nice and improvised, what we need is a title for the story, but from somebody in the studio audience. So can somebody suggest a, a title for us, please? The Sleeping Beauty. Sorry? The Sleeping Beauty. The Sleeping Beauty. Yes, obviously uh, autobiographical, as far as you're concerned. <laughs> At least partially, because I noticed you are asleep. Now, um... OK, off you go. I'll move on from one to the other with a buzzer. So, starting off, Graham, uh, if you would, now. The fog drifted down from the top of the factory chimneys. Jason Udderworthy, <laughs> as was his wont, kicked off his clogs before kicking his whippet beauty. It was... It was a lovely whippet. <laughs> <laughs> she could not go fast. Her name, it was Beauty. They named her in the past. <laughs> <laughs> she was a sleeping beauty, a dozing pretty girl, a napping babe, a comatose doll. <laughs> <laughs> Doll-like, that's what Clifford Chatterley was, doll-like, in his heart and soul. A parallelogram, no heart, no soul, but there she was. Constant Chatterley was there, looking down at her beauty, manly, powerful he was. Mellors, built like a chestnut mare, <laughs> riding her, riding her, the plumed serpent of his torpitude, lost now inside her, no brambles round castle, all love and passion deep inside her. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Back to you, Graham. <laughs> what? Don't talk to me about parallelograms, <laughs> uh, Jason Udderworth. Come here, whip it, and have this supper. Outside, there was trouble at mill. <laughs> trouble. Everyone was getting shirty. Beauty was being a bit of a one. She was getting really flirty. She was eyeing people. She was giving come-hither looks. She was drawing attention to her body parts. She was making her eyes wide and her legs as well. <laughs> The legs are well spaced at Mellor, stripping off the hot, <laughs> wet corduroy down to his knees. <laughs> ah! The worst mother, he's not gonna make my head my god. <laughs> what planet do you come from, Mellor? said Lady Chatterley. Ah! That be beauty. That be beast. A ride further than that, that lord of a drone. They can't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> and no. Thank you, John. Thank you, everybody. All right, that'll do. It's so difficult to award points here, so I'll give uh, none for that round. 